Hello and welcome back to Saber Outdoors. I, of course, am your wonderful host, Mark Alexander, and I have guests once again. It's like like they uh, they like me. They really, really like me. But I've got I've got Jeremiah Brown with me from the uh, Wanderers Channel. Little Wanderers. Yes, we've got got him from the Little Wanderers Channel, and today we are going to go over gun safety. Now, guys. I wanted to make this video long ago, but I've only just become able to do this because I now have a place to actually use guns. So this video is probably going to be more talking than it is shooting, but we will be shooting stuff. Oh, don't you worry. We are going to blow something up. So uh, don't think that we're going to leave this video without blowing something up. But guys, we're going to speak very frankly about gun safety. We're going going to do this in an adult manner we're not gonna be you know, pow 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 <laughs> none of that that's that's dumb foolishness and I, darn it i know he really wanted to do dumb foolishness i just wanted to do dumb foolishness you know but uh we can do, do it another day in another way but guys today we're not shooting high-powered rifles we're not shooting 12-gauge shotguns we're just shooting 22s just little small 22s could i have a bullet please so in case you don't know what a 22 caliber bullet looks like this is what it looks like very small you can see it next to my pointer finger it just goes to my first joint now these are deadly do not play with them they are not not something that you should shoot at another person or anything that you do not want to kill or destroy thank you for the loan of the bullet now 22s are a unique round in the gun world most gu guns use a center fire right through the center but 22s are rim fire that mean means that they just need to hit somewhere on that rim boom and they fire so they're different than any other round that I am currently aware of but Guys, when you're instructing somebody new on a gun that they're not familiar with or a the first time they're going to handle a gun, you don't tell them gun terms. Gun terms are reserved for gun people. We're gun people. When I say, say to Jeremiah, clear the chamber to make sure there's no nothing, in the, nothing in there, he knows. He knows what, what it means. So when I take a rifle... And it's closed like this safety on and I hand it to him the first thing he does is make sure it's unloaded even though he just saw me to make sure sure that it was unloaded and you do that exact motion now that's not the same with all guns make sure whoever it is you're handing a gun is familiar with that gun that's his gun he's very familiar with it now if I was to trade guns with him and tell him him to clear that one it's going to take him a few moments to figure it out maybe even a few minutes he may just get disgusted with it and just start pulling the trigger but he's gun people and he figured that out but a new per person if you hand this to them there is no, no thing on this side there is no thing on this side you don't punch it out singly, you just pull this out and the whole thing comes out. And you can check to make sure that it's empty. And you hand a gun empty to somebody unless they are about to shoot. Now, how do we shoot? How, how does that happen? How does that work? So, with our pistol that we have, it has no safety. You out there, you are the safety you are the one that controls this gun because this hammer as long as it's down it's not going to shoot unless there is extreme circumstances now there is being half cocked which this gun does not have but older guns may single action guns and then there is full cock now this gun if there was a round in it would shoot and it would be loud when you're shooting guns doesn't matter what kind of gun it is Put some ear protection on. You don't get another set of ears. It's not like feet. You can't go go somewhere and get new new ears like you can feet. But guys, 
this one you pull the hammer back on this particular gun this is a ruger model 1022 it's one of the most popular gun guns in the world now this one is beautifully decorated it's uh some kind of special edition that my friend got for his 20th birthday, 20th birthday. now my friend's going to show show you how you cock this gun and get it ready to fi fire just like i did did that one it's a completely different process all right so like mark said it's a completely different process from the pistol because in this pistol you can see that there's a hammer right here that when fired hits the rim of the round and then the round goes off but in a self-contained system like this ruger right here you would have to put your magazine this is not a clip this is a magazine there are clips but they're reserved for m1 garands it's totally another video but this is a magazine and it goes in the bottom right here we'll clear this real fast and open it up if you were to load this rifle you would shove it right here but we're not going to for safety's sake right now and then to load the round you would pull back on the lever and then you release at the same time and that would load around and now this gun is ready to fire notice there's no hammer but we do have a safety so if you look right here you can see that there's a little red band that red band stands for fire it's ready to go and when you push it to the other side there's not a little red band that means it's on safe now just because your safety is on safe does not give you free reign to point this gun wherever you want to you never aim a gun whether loaded or unloaded no matter what at a person or anything you don't intend to kill or destroy because the moment you think you're safe is the moment you kill somebody or yourself so we want to make sure this is on safe and then when we're ready to shoot all you do is take it off safe when you're aimed at your target and then you pull the trigger the only safety here is this mechanism but once this is off it's ready to go and your own brain and and your own brain you have to use your own brain to make it fire um, but yeah you would shoot and then it would just be ready for another round it's called a semi automatic it's not automatic it only fires one bullet per trigger pull so we call it a semi-automatic but you don't have to re-cock the hammer like you would for this pistol it's just ready to go with the next round in the chamber which is very important to know because once you're firing and you're off safe you fire until there's nothing left or until you put it on safe but yeah that's how this gun shoots how it fires and that's how uh, it stays safe. You make sure you have your safety on, but once again completely different from Mark's pistol We saw over here So what we're gonna do now We're actually go going to load up and we're gonna shoot some and uh, we're gonna bring bring you along I think I can shoot farther than he can with my pistol But he might be able to shoot further than I can with his rifle, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna find that out And we're gonna bring you along see you in a minute all right guys so we're about to shoot and i'm gonna actually put the camera on the the uh pit the actual targets so that you can see us actually hitting the targets and probably the second time around like pistols we're gonna have it shoot looking directly at the uh at the targets rifles will have it put on us so that way you can see kind of bo both things but guys when we're shooting always ha have ear protection on and always treat the gun like it's loaded it's not a joke it's not something that we just say to hear ourselves blow it's because because we really mean it because if it's accidentally loaded and you shoot somebody nobody cares about sorry because somebody will be dead and sorry doesn't fix dead and it's not really a great hymn for a huge huge uh hospital bill either but uh you still go to jail whether or not it's an accident but guys i'm gonna put the camera on the targets and i'm gonna be shooting the white can and jeremiah will be shooting the orange can so that way you know who's shooting whenever we're shooting stuff hopefully we hit the ones we're aiming at guys sorry for the wind i can't do anything about the weather 
I'm going to put you on the targets and we're going to get to it. Jeremiah's going first. So it seems I got three good hits out of the seven using Mark's pistol. Uh, never shot his pistol before. I was shooting a little bit high, uh, but we'll see how Mark does. Uh, apparently he's a pro with his pistol. No pressure, Mark. <laughs> Guys, I think I hit high every single time. Yeah, I hit high every single time. No, no, I got one at the very bottom. Well, I'm going to have to give it to Little Wanderer. He got me. Now, I'm going to change the camera to where we're filming us shooting that way you get kind of a perspective from both points. Maybe I maybe I need need to practice some cuz I did bad. <laughs> I'm going to let him shoot his own gun first. Notice while we're shooting, I'm behind him cuz the gun's pointed that way. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Safety's on. We're gonna load up, and then I'm gonna give me a try. Let's go see what kind of damage we did. All right, looks like I got it. One, two, three, four, 10, 20, five, five, six, one, six, ten, five, eight, five out of 10 rounds. He's making fun, fun of me, guys. I swear he is. He's wondering if I'm going to lose my countryman card. I might, might if I don't hit it with a rifle. It's all right. I'll let him keep it, even if he misses all 10 rounds. That's very kind of you. Maybe not all 10. All right, guys. Gun is unloaded. Chamber's up, open. We're going to shove our clip in. My uh, other friend is behind me. I'm gonna shoot down, down range, ear zone, let's fire up. Don't you annoy me about stuff. I just gave a whole segment about how that's called a magazine and not a clip. It's a magazine. I'm sorry that I hurt your tender feelings. I'll forgive <laughs> you right. this time. We're gonna, we're gonna load up, we're gonna fire up. We're hot, fire in the hole. We're done. Let's go see what kind of carnage we did. Safety on, setting the gun down. 
pointing away from where we're shooting. So guys, we've got one through the bottom and out the top. We have one that hit the top and knocked the tab down in. And we have an another seven throughout. That's nine out of 10. So yeah, I get to keep my country boy card. I can at least shoot a rifle. Need practice with a pistol. I don't shoot a lot of pistols. I kind of like to reach out and touch things whenever I shoot things. That's why I've shot a rifle all my life. I have very few pistols, but lots of rifles. But guys, you saw, we had a safe, fun time where I aggravated him, he aggravated me. You can have this kind of time if you are safe. If you are unsafe, you're going to end up hurting or killing someone. Guys, it's not that hard. Don't point a gun at something you don't want to kill. Don't, don't uh, play with a gu gun because it could be loaded. Doesn't matter if you think it's unloaded. Shoot something that you don't mind ruining. These are empty cans, who cares about them? But they were great fun to shoot, great for me and him to enjoy aggravating each other about. But guys, that's all there is to this video. I showed you gun safety and we shot some guns. So I'm just gonna give you the usual YouTube things like share, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification. I'm gonna say it twice because it's important. Subscribe. It costs you nothing and it means so much to me and this guy here, Little Wanderers. He'll be linked down below. But guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water.